one is on my end, which is my my own vision. I know there's a prescription limit right now. I'm a minus eight. I was bummed. I know. I know. I, I've I'm been sorry. asking. I've been asking Alex about it. Uh, that your head of wearables and um, what what do you think possibilities are for that? I know there's chance of doing more. I think the goal for these is obviously to get as many people to wear them as possible. Yeah, we have exactly right. We have. A, a, our interests are super aligned. We yeah. want these to be something that everyone can wear. Today, one of the challenges of these waveguides is the, the lenses are very flat. And yeah. you can kind of see that they're, they're these perfectly flat lenses. And we do a great job, I think, in the design of, of making that, you know, something that disappears naturally. But most glasses that you get, the lenses are curved. And that curvature actually ends up being important for supporting a larger body of uh, lens corrections yeah. for, for vision correction. So the, these, I think, go to minus four to plus four. And we absolutely have a bun of, bunch of research some of it quite promising on how to do waveguides, incorporating some bend, or how can you bend the non-waveguide part of the glass and still do the lamination. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of research that we're doing there. Our goal is definitely to support everyone, and it's always these trade-offs of, of how soon you can bring it to market versus what's really ready.